Hello everyone, Mr. Zas here and boxing is back big time. What can I say? What a night of boxing. Daniel Dubois against Philip Hergovitz. Wow, I was watching this fight alive. It was as good as it gets, guys. Yeah, very, very impressed. Not gonna lie. So quickly, let's jump into it. So guys, quite a lot to talk about this fight, but one one would be poetic justice one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Hergovitz talking smack about Daniel Dubois, him having no heart, overlooking him, saying, I'm gonna do the same thing I did in the sparring camps. Daniel Dubois, okay, fair enough, gets on his bicycle, trains real hard, gets to the fight, uh, eats lots of shots, eats lots of shots, but you know what? He proves he has heart. <laughs> Hergovitz said he has no heart, gets absolutely schooled, okay? Uh, and it's not one one side of traffic, guys. This fight was highly competitive, especially in the first rounds, and that's actually the fun thing because Daniel Dubois took the shots. He kept the distance very well. Many times he rolled with the shots, so he was on the ball. Yeah, <laughs> onwards. So first two rounds clearly went uh, to Hergovitz, which is a bit, mm. and then he kind of starts slowing down. This is another thing which lots of people are pointing out that. Philip Hergovitz overlooked Daniel Dubois, and it could be one of the things. But another thing, Daniel Dubois had a good game plan, and Hergovitz was slowing down. After like round three, he was really slowing down, and uh, Dubois was landing the big shots, the really eye-catching shots with his literally big, big hammering fists, man. That, that's the thing. It really seemed like very similar game plan to the Parker's one, where Parker always increased the distance when opponent was engaging, closed down the distance, came in with high volume shots, clinched it, and used his forehead. In this case, Dubois used lots of his forehead. He was using his head similar to the effect of John Fury, if you, if you know what I mean. I would even say, people, that was... You could say that was one of the most effective punches in uh, Dubois' arsenal. <laughs> And the funny thing is, Hergovitz did nothing. He really didn't complain to the ref. I didn't really saw the ref. Did tell Daniel to slow down with that. You know he should be doing it. But there was a crazy amount of dirty moves from Daniel Dubois. Regardless of that, guys, this is boxing. If you can get away with that, do it. There are dirty boxers. There are clean boxers. You do anything to secure the win. And in this case, Daniel Dubois just bullied the bully. That's about it. He literally put the poetic justice on Philip Hergovitz. And when the stoppage happened, what can I say, guys, here? Philip Hergovitz, in this picture, he did not object it. After round seven, which was a massive round for Daniel Dubois, he almost stopped Philip Hergovitz. He landed, I would say, like seven, eight clean shots through the round, especially end of the round seven. There was like two very good clean shots. Uh, I don't want to go as far as to say that Hergovitz was holed up by the rope, but it was close to that. And when the referee waved it up, off in round eight, Hergovitz was just like, yeah, just get me to the stall. Like, he wasn't objecting at all. He was just happy to go and sit down, guys. So I think he was just, yeah, okay, I'm going to take this loss. Whatever happened, happened. That's about it. So amazing win for Daniel Dubois. Uh, Hergovitz, he just dropped the ball. He was mandatory. Well, that's, that's gone. And what can I say, Daniel Dubois, honestly, absolute A-star performance. The another thing, man, this guy looked like a... Uh, I uh, apologize sincerely over there, cannot really say that. Uh, regardless of that, Daniel Dubois, A-star performance, straight out there. Um, Yeah, <laughs> he went in there, he was pushing the action from start till the end, no issues with the stamina. Did very well. Now he's IBF mandatory, I suppose. Uh, he's talking about Antoine Joshua. We're going to see what happens next. Or maybe they're just going to elevate him to the champion. Or maybe they're not going to strip uh, the undisputed champion. That is another possibility. Though. So things are happening. And uh, if you put in the work, you get out the results. And it, that's literally what happened here. It's nice to see another British boxer coming back. And maybe we're going to see... Uh, the championship in UK. That would be great. And uh, yeah, best career performance for Daniel Dubois. Wouldn't say he made it look easy. It was highly competitive fight. But uh, definitely he has deserved it. And he proven to many doubters that he has the skill set. He has the chin and he's not a quitter. So uh, big ups to him. And 
cannot wait for the next fight because boxing is back boys and boxing is alive thanks to Saudis and good fights so anyway guys hit that like button subscribe and follow for my future video I have a big video coming up so okay okay guys Mr. Zass out till next time